move-in day. When you move into Salem College, it is important for you to follow the schedule thoroughly. You don't want to miss out on those important events. You will need lots of muscle as those suitcases are heavy. Saying goodbye can be a bit stressful, especially for your parents. Tissues are most necessary in surviving move-in day. <laughs> and of course, it always helps to say goodbye to your parents at the end of the day. You're free. The roommate. This is the big day that you'll meet your roommate. <sighs> Try to make decent conversation as you will be living with this person the whole year. Whether you like it or not. What's up? <laughs> Nothing. What's your name? Rachel. What's your name? Linda. Linda? Uh-huh. Where are you from? Here. Where are you from? I'm from a pig farm. <laughs> a pig farm? Okay. Uh -huh. That makes sense. That makes sense. What's that supposed to mean? You wearing pink? Pigs are pink. Yeah. Okay. You like football? Yeah. Well, I used to play. Huh. You used to play football? Uh huh. Like. Black football? No. Like, were you in a girl's Shoulder league? pads, helmets. Were you a kicker? No. I was a linebacker. <laughs> When you first move in, it is important to meet with your RA and sign the roommate contract. Howdy doody, RA! Hi! Hi! So you two are going to be roommates. Well, um, this is the roommate contract and uh, I would just like you to fill these out so we know where you two stand in, as far as sharing and stuff like that. So why don't you just look it over? This piece of paper will determine how you will interact with this person, such as how much you are willing to share and who else you can invite into your room. Don't change your mind because of pressure from your roommate. Be honest. Laundry. I swear my roommate's a guy. Laundry services at Salem College are free. You can find the laundry room at the end of your dorm hall. Make sure you bring your laundry card. I knew it! <laughs> Food. There are several places on campus that a college student can go and eat. Several meaning two. First, we have the Corrin Hall Refectory. This is your main dining room. It is important to scan your ID once you arrive. The cellar is also a quick way to obtain food. 
Realistically, it's best to buy your own food to eat. Balancing your social and academic life. While at Salem, you will face several circumstances in which you must balance your academic and social life. Come on, you know this party's gonna be so oh, awesome. So tonight. awesome. Come on. Hey. We're pretty gaming. Come on. Let's go. I can't. Come on. Slow. Come on. Come on! I'm sorry. Whoa, you can do it later! Oh, I can't. I oh whatever. Oh, no. Party pooper, come on! We're gonna yes. be like. Ah. Ten pages, dude. I can't do that. Later! Bye! Sometimes your best just isn't good enough, and you end up with a B. Plus. However, it is important to get out and have fun with your friends. And in the end, your hard work will pay off. Exam week. Alright, it's crunch time. All of the studying should pay off in the end. Salem College self-scheduled exams are given in Bryant Hall. They're open from Friday, May 17th to Tuesday, May 21st. Morning sessions are from 8.30 a.m. to 12.15 p.m. Afternoon sessions are from 1.30 p.m. to 5.15 p.m. And evening sessions are open from 6.30 to 10.15 p.m. When you enter, tell the proctor what class you are taking the exam for. You must hand over your student ID and can only take what is needed for the exam with you. Good luck! Congratulations! Now that exams are over, you are ready to move out. You must sign out with an RA in the dorm building, and there's a sign-up sheet outside of their door. And you're done with your first year at Salem College.